Now, in the last video on the Cortina, when I was busy fitting the new boot seal to it, I was still waiting for the DVLA to issue a registration number and send me a logbook in my name. That's now happened. Logbook's arrived. I've ordered the number plates. They've also arrived. So in today's video, we're going to be fitting the new number plates to the car. And if you're watching in the USA, the DVLA over here in the UK is the equivalent to your DMV. Probably just as annoying and troublesome to get in touch with as well when you need to. But anyway, it's all sorted now. So let's get into fitting the number plates. And when I ordered the number plates, I also ordered a fixing kit. And it comes with a selection of sticky pads, the screws to fit them all, and obviously these lovely plastic covers, depending on whether you want yellow and white number plates or if you've got black number plates. Now I went with black and silver plates because that car is over 40 years old, so I can get away with putting black and silver plates on. Now as you can see, there's no way this screw is going to go in that hole and uh, fit in snugly to hold the number plate on. And also the same on that side as well. The fixing kit itself didn't come with anything to put in the holes to put the screws into. So I had a rummage around in the garage and I found this. Now these are little four-legged clips with holes in for screws. They actually fit in the back of the ranch area over there and they slide into the bodywork and they fit into the holes like that. And then once they're gripped in, you can put the screws in. They're actually meant to hold the tail lights on in the ranchero. Now I've got a load of these as spares. So I dug them out. And whereas it won't actually fit in that hole at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these holes a little bit bigger. So these will go in. And then I can get uh, get the screws in. So we can fit the number plates. I've also got to drill the hole in the number plates as well. And I'm not sure who it was in uh, South Africa that drilled the holes for the number plates. But as you can see, they're not exactly level with each other. That number plate is straight, by the way, it's just the way it looks on camera. They're not exactly level with each other, and one slightly bigger than the other one. This, by the way, is the original South African number plate that came with the car. So let me just hold that in place so you can see that it is actually level when it's on the car. Now ignore the yellow and the blue dots, they're just the handles of the screwdrivers I've got wedged in the holes to hold the number plate in place. But as you can see, it's perfectly, perfectly level on the back of the car. It's perfectly centered as well so the holes are drilled in such a way that the number plate will sit level it's just that they're not actually level in the back of the car now the clips that i'm using to put in the holes in the car to attach the number plates to need to be uh, they need a hole that's seven and a half millimeters in diameter so it's going to get all set up we're going to drill those holes or going to enlarge the holes so that seven and a half millimeters now i'm going to be really careful when i'm drilling the holes in the rear valance and making them bigger because the fuel tank's right behind the valance and i don't want to drill into the fuel tank that would be a really bad idea Got away with that one. Well, I think that works. Yep, they're all both okay. Now, of course, I could have put tape around the end of the drill bit to uh, stop it going through as far as it did there for a couple of moments. But no, I like to live dangerously. You can judge it. it. Didn't hit the fuel tank. At least there's no liquid leaking out on the floor. So we're okay for now now i'm going to ignore that hole there i've got no idea what that was for and obviously what i'll do before i fit the number plate i'll give this a quick clean because i don't want to be putting a new number plate on it with dirty panel work on the car and i'll also put a little bit of grease on the inside of here to stop the bare metal i've just drilled rusting when the clips go in so that's the back end all cleaned or the valance is all cleaned now i've actually put a bit of copper slip i don't know if you can make it out on camera but a bit of copper slip in those holes on the bare metal edges and also a little bit around the outside where some of the paint chipped off when I was uh, when I was drilling through the, the hole. Now I've put a glove on because I don't want copper slip on my fingers but these just push straight through and then they just sit in there the clip the sort of clip in and then when you put the screw through the middle the legs widen behind it and holds it pretty much the same as a wall plug or a roll plug does. So hopefully that's going to fit in there. I'll just push that through there we go it doesn't have to be straight it's just got to be in so if anybody's watching if you're a bit OCD about straight lines sorry but it's in that's the main thing that counts it's not going to be seen when the registration plate's on so see if we can get this one in this side as well there we go well that one's straighter isn't it there we go 
So now, I just need to drill the holes in the rubber place. That's the scary bit. Now, if you've never used these before, they've got a little lid that'll cover the heads of the screws. They fold over on top of each other. There's a hole in the middle that the screw goes through. And then you attach that bit to the number plate and then the cup folds over, closes on the top, so you can't see where the screws are. Let's go and get the number plate on them. Now, if you're wondering how I'm going to drill holes in the right place on the new number plate, I've actually got a number plate blank, which is nothing more than an old number plate that I've taken all the registration details off. And as you can see, it's various lines and holes and measurements for various uh, other number plates that have been fitted. So I've marked that, I've put the holes in where I need them to be, and I'm just going to clamp that on top of the new number plate and then hopefully drill through without causing any damage. So let me just get that clamped up and get those holes drilled. Well, that's the first one drilled. Now the key here is when you put the drill in and start drilling, to drill slowly and don't put too much pressure on it. Let the drill take itself through. There we are. Hopefully that's worked. As you can see, we've got a hole through there, and we've got a hole through there. Now all I've got to do is go and fit it on the car. There we are. Two perfect holes. No damage to the number plate itself. Whatsoever. And both holes are in between the letters and the numbers. But if you can hear us over the top of the engine, because obviously I've got the car running because I haven't been run for a while, that's the front number plate fitted. Go around and show you what the back one looks like now that it's on. And that's the back number plate fitted. As you can see, she smokes a little bit, but probably needs a service, a couple of things looking at. We'll get into that later on. But for now though, in the meantime, it's taxed, it's insured, registered, the plates are on. We're going to enjoy it now. Well, that's the car, all fully legal guys. Taxed, insured, registration delivered, registration fitted. Now I'm going to have some fun with it, like I said in the video earlier, if you could hear us when uh, over the top of the exhaust running when we sat next to it there. Anyway, thanks for watching this one guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to keep seeing content like this. And I'll leave a link up here to the other stuff we've done on the Cortina so far. And uh, I'll catch up with everybody in the, in the next video. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time, bye for now.